Polly here with Cut at Home. Today I'm making a scrapbook page layout of my granddaughter I'm trying to catch up with her baby pictures. So I really like the look of a quilt. So I decided to use some Spellbinders die. I used the Spellbinders Nest Abilities, long rectangles, they're um, the scalloped, so it's long classic scalloped rectangles. I also used a new die from Spellbinders from their Inspire collection, and this one is called Love. The first thing I did was cut my rectangles. I used three different colors for the rectangles, picking up the colors in her outfit. I cut one of the darker pink and the smaller, it's the second largest actually die in that set. I cut two of the largest rectangle in that set. I cut three of the second, second largest rectangle in the lighter pink. This paper, the pink dotted paper is available in the Echo Park mini theme collection, um, the Easter collection. And I cut one large in the blue and one small in the blue dot. And those are both the dotted papers, the dark pink and the light blue are Bazell Swiss Dot cardstock. Now since I like the quilt look, I also am going to take a white pen and I'm going to add stitching along the sides of each of the rectangles. Now I'm finishing up putting the little stitch marks on my paper. And how I did it <clears throat> is I just used a white pen. The one I have here is made by Signo. It's a uniball roller. And I'm just putting like a little dash by every scallop. That kind of makes it even and makes it look finished nicely and deliberately where you're placing the little slashes for the stitches. This is a nice way, quick way to get a stitch look on something without having to actually stitch it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Stitching usually never is. Here's what the stitching looks like. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all my squares, or rectangles, sorry, all my rectangles that I have cut down onto my green paper. Now I've got all my rectangles adhered to my 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and this is how it looks. I know everything is not spaced exactly evenly. That's okay because as we finish our layout, those areas are going to be covered. So the picture is going to go here. Cut this out of 
the Spellbinders die. It's the Love template. I also cut out a heart that I'm going to adhere this to. And I'm going to double layer it on a green heart. So it'll look like that. That will go on my layout here. And then on the top I've cut some letters. I'm going to put them across the top. I think I'm going to do stitching on the lettering as well. And I have a little tag here that I made. I put her name and the, her age that she was in the picture. I'm going to adhere that. I'll use some ribbon. Probably going to put it somewhere around here. I may use ribbon. I may not. And I think I'll put some stitching on that tag as well. Here's the finished scrapbook page. I've added a couple of other things. I used some glossy accents here for the word baby. I also used some glossy accents on Carmel Marie and used some Epiphany Craft Shape Makers. I also used some glossy accents on the word love. So I'm very happy with the finished results. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Till next time, thanks and happy scrapping.